Hey, I'm Travis with Redwood Motorsports. Uh, we are following up our previous video and we are showing you guys some of the assembly and a little bit of the installation of this brand new Owens Road and Track Kit. Um, as we noted in our other video, we are going to be sending some parts with this kit if you buy it from us that are not standard to the Owens kit. I'll explain what those are and I will be installing those here. First thing you're going to want to do check all your measurements according to the Olin's install guides. For the front, you're looking at preload and this measurement, which is effectively your free length, which are 198 and 245. Those are pretty straightforward. For the rear, checking your measurement here, which is 220. Always wanna do that before you put it all together so that you don't have to take it back apart again to check it. These guys are all preset. I've got them all ready. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do Get your rubber boot on there, make sure it's seated properly. Then, if you've got our kit, you'll be installing this, the upper bump limiter. The washer goes on first, then your red donut, then your spacer. If you have the normal Owens kit and you do not have these pieces, it's just that silver spacer that's a little bit taller than this guy right here. You don't need to worry about the other stuff if you, if you didn't buy this from us. Next thing that goes on is going to be the plastic spring isolator, so the hard one that's not all rubbery. That goes at the bottom. Then you've got your spring, and then you've got your upper spring perch, and on there you want your floppy rubber isolator, spring isolator. That guy slots down on top like that. Then last, you've got your top hat. Make note, it's not super clear in the directions. You do want to keep this rubber piece. That is important. That goes on. And easiest way to line this top hat up is to, uh, if you look at the top here, these two are a little closer together. This guy's a little further out. That little further out one lines up with the spine on the flat side. Then on goes our small black spacer and your top nut. Once you've got it all tight, make sure your boot's all happy inside because when you're tightening down, you are going to want to hold onto that shaft. And on goes your adjuster. This guy does not need to be very tight. Just run it down by hand and just snug it up with a wrench. All right, now this is ready to go into the car. The rear, not very much assembly required. All you need to do, put on your rubber boot, it goes over the bottom on this guy because of this adjuster down low. Zip tie it in place like it says in the directions with the provided zip ties. Before we put on the top hat, you wanna put on the big thick red donut and one of the little ones on the rear. Then goes on the top hat. Then on your top nut. Not quite as important on this guy, but uh, the top hat will be in line with the dog bone at the bottom. It, uh, you can always twist it, but your boot will twist up a bit if you don't get it close enough and your boot's too tight. All right, now we're ready to put it in the car. We're gonna just do a quick gloss over of the rear install. We're not gonna go too in depth here. First things first, you'll notice we have everything pulled out already and cleaned up. Um, these are your stock rubbers. This is your lower stock rubber, the upper stock rubber. If you're installing this on a Model Y, the upper stock rubber will stay in the car. It'll go right, this is your upper piece. It'll slot right in there like that. With the Model 3, as per the directions, this guy and this guy, both go away. First, 
we're gonna put in our lower spring perch. This guy, just like the front, gets your plastic spring isolator and slots right into the arm down there, which I'm trying to get you a shot of. In goes your spring. Try and hold on to that with one hand because these guys can tip out pretty easily. And lastly, on goes your top mount. Pull that pivots back. Keep Try and keep a hand on there. Otherwise, all this will come tumbling out. I'm gonna need to move this jack. Then, I like to use a floor jack to prop up this lower arm. Put a little bit of tension on everything and then you can let it all go. You can see it's not all super tight yet, but it's not going anywhere. This uh, lower uh, lower orange piece has been preset as per the directions, just like all the, uh, the front shock adjustments and the rear free length adjustment. Once you've got all that in there, it's time to stick in your shock. It's pretty straightforward. Comes right in over the top. Be careful of your paint. Slides down in the arm. And then the bolts go in on the top. Once you've got those in, the floor jack comes back into play. You can jack up your lower arm. And watch your knuckle. Make sure it's slotting in right too. Jack up the lower arm until the bolt lines up. And stick your bolt through your shock and die. Then keep going up and pull the knuckle out into place. Get that bolt. Tighten everything up, and you are done in the rear. Now the front can go in as well. The way I like to do this, you come up through the back here over the brake line. It's the way I find it to be the easiest. And again, watch your paint. Once you're in here, you gotta try and get your top hat lined up. Small adjustments are pretty easy to do in car. And once the top hat is lined up, you put your bolt through on the bottom. Now that we've got the shock in place, we can pull down our upper arm. This is our aftermarket camera and caster adjusting arm for the Model 3. As you can see, this one's seen a little bit of wear. A few problems through testing. And then, in goes the pinch bolt. You can attach your sway bar end link. Again, this is another one of our products. Our race sway bar end links with uh, Aurora ends on them. Don't forget to secure your brake line at the top. If you have stock ones, it's just pops right back in. If you have ours, it's a few zip ties. And uh, yeah, 
put your top nuts back on on the top and uh, you are pretty much good to go. You just have to insert your little adjusters through the top once you put it in and, uh, and drill your holes. But yeah, that's uh, a quick once over of how to put these guys into the car.